Oh, hi. This week, we're gonna do another Luna Lovegood accessory. And guess what? It's another collaboration project with Grant and Sama, except theirs are gonna be way cooler because they're actually doing butterbeer corks. Just to give you a little peek into how my brain doesn't always interpret things correctly, which is an ongoing problem in my life, I would read in the books and hear in the audiobooks butterbeer cork necklace, but in both cases I would picture Luna wearing like a string of bottle caps. So I'm gonna do my weird interpretation of it that doesn't really make any sense, and because I hoard all the beer I have so many caps to use up. Let's get into the thing. Here's what you need. This isn't all whiskey. Oh that was so much! This is Arnold Palmer with now half whiskey apparently, but I thought adding a honey whiskey into like the lemonade iced tea situation and it mix well. It's amazing. The main thing you're gonna need are bottle caps. You're also gonna I need some spray paint or you can use regular paint but I'm going spray paint root route root I think I'm gonna do a coat of black paint and then a coat of what I think is gold judging by the cap but I feel like I've been duped by this can before so something metallic before I list other supplies I'm gonna take these out and spray paint them so they can dry I'll be back you guys I feel like it has been years since I started this project what happened to September this has been maybe the craziest month ever. Mostly good shit, but Jesus fucking Christ. I am just a different level of tired. I don't even know what happened to me. But thankfully this beer I have was cold brewed with coffee. So why not? I guess that should have been a here's what you need. I don't even know what I've already filmed. I think I went to spray paint stuff. Here's a picture I took of these in the grass. Pro tip, don't spray paint on the grass like I did or else it's not gonna come out good because grass is gonna get stuck to your caps and your yard is gonna be silver. And also it's not gonna stay unless you sand it down. So other pro tip, fucking sand these down before you spray paint. I don't know why I can't get it in my head that if it's a very smooth surface, you gotta rough it up before you paint it. You know, if these have been popped off of bottles and set aside by Luna, they're not gonna be perfect. So I was hoping not to have to use the ones with dents, but they would have dents in them, so why not? Also, if you just want to use regular ass bottle caps, unpainted, like I would love to make a necklace and may actually make a necklace out of my Russian River tab, because that's cool and I've only had one of their beers ever, and the bottle's not even up there. Well that bums me out, at least I have the cap for my Pliny the Elder thing, and I did get a t-shirt from my friends that used to live in Santa Rosa. Nobody cares about this! In the movie with the actual cork for the necklace, there's a lot of blue beading going on, so I have this blue chain on a necklace I never ever wear. So I think I'm just gonna deconstruct this and yeah, use up the chain. It's gonna be a pretty short necklace because I always envisioned it to be bottle caps as like a choker. You're gonna need pliers and some jump rings, a hammer, and a very sharp nail, and also a very hard surface to hit it on. Okay, let's actually construct this goddamn thing. So I'm gonna take my nail and rest it right in that groove that I've marked. Hopefully this is in focus because my viewfinder is completely shot to shit. And then I'm gonna place this down onto whatever the hard surface is and then hammer it till it punctures all the way through. I will be back with some punctured metal. Well, that went very poorly because all I did was dull and bend the nail and just tear the shit out of this thing. But because this is what you do when you live in New Hampshire, I got a Dremel for Christmas a couple years ago and I haven't really used it for that much. So there's got to be something in here that can puncture through this. I guess let's try the regular old drill bit. I do use a handpiece similar to a Dremel on a daily basis at my job. So like use caution, but I'm comfortable with using a tool like this. Go at your own pace is what I'm saying. I do not know that this is gonna work. That was not the way to go. There's gotta be another option. You know what? We're gonna default to a crafting tool that I actually hate using. Like, I really do not defer to this very often, but I think it's time to bring out the hot glue gun. I think I have a plan. This is actually kind of riffing off something that Grant Scoville did for a video where he made like a little tiny hair clip that looked like the red hat that Aladdin wears. Okay, here's the plan. I have these jewelry findings that have a little loop at the end, though so they can just be completely straight pins. That'll be fine. Any kind of wire should work for this as long as it's like kind of thick. I'm going to take my glue gun, very carefully fill up one of these caps, and you need it filled to the top. Poor gun can't even melt it as fast as I'm trying to press it in here. Okay, now before that sets, I'm gonna place one of these across here. Add a little more glue. Oh, and adding the hot glue like this to the inside ridges is gonna keep the edges of the metal from like scratching into your neck. Think I salvaged the project. Thanks, Grant. You're the best for coming up with that idea three years ago and letting me steal it now. Hopefully you're fine with that. Ooh, so it's still kind of hot. Ow, ow, ow. 
but you see what I'm getting at? And then I'll cut off this end and also round it there so that there will kind of be like a little jump ring on each side. Something finally worked. Holy shit, you guys. Definitely don't stick your fingers in here before it's done setting. I'm going to take these like rounded pliers that won't cut anything and don't have any sharp edges. They're just real smooth. Oh wait, no, I need the cutty ones first. <laughs> I'm going to take off I guess like half of this and then take the rounded pliers. Just grab the very edge and roll it back in. Hell yeah! So I basically have five big ass beads and I've taken the chain off the other necklace. I attached a lobster claw in the middle already and I'm actually gonna attach the five of these together without any chain between. That way it's also gonna keep them flat just having one loop between each thing because the loop on the bottle cap's facing this way and the jump ring's gonna go like this. So then the other loop is gonna want to face flat like this. I just said face so many times. What is this, Nick Jr.? Did I just expose myself as a millennial? I just lost track of where the chain was because it was on me already. All right, so I got my weird links of all the bottle caps. I'm actually super pumped with how this looks. I'm just gonna kind of measure it so that it's gonna sit, not like a tight, tight choker, but definitely not hanging down like this. So I'm gonna do this the most accurate way possible where I'm gonna hold my fingers where I think it should go and I just drop this bit and then take this part off and then I'm just gonna even it out. I'm also gonna need two more jump rings for this part. Yeah. Oh god, it went everywhere. Take a jump ring, loop it through the end of the chain, add a little loop for my tabs. Not tabs, these are caps. I'm gonna make sure these are laying flat. Add another jump ring to both the other ends. That looks really tiny, but hey, that's why I have a lobster claw on here. Alright, what do we think, friends? Okay? I have no idea what this looks like. All right, you know, I actually like how this came out. I wish there was a cool Butterbeer logo I could have transferred onto here, but even just the plain bottle caps, like this is a more universal project, I guess. I like how these came out and they go with my radish earring. Oh boy, I know this video has been all over the place, but I was very excited to do this project. I'm very excited to see Grant and Sam's versions. Grant gets all the credit for this idea because there's no way I would have come up with this project without him in many capacities. And he basically is Luna Lovegood, so this makes it extra special to me. And while I'm at it thanking people, I really, really really, really appreciate everybody over on my Patreon page. Specifically the shout out group, which is Rob Czar, still bonkers, you're the best. Ben, coolest child of all time. You and your sister, you know, you're my favorite little nibblings. Jeanette, thank you for sticking around through all of the silliness for so long. Amber, what up? Thank you so much. I really like a lot of the stuff you put into the world, so it is extra special to me that you think my stuff is neat too. If you would like a monthly shout out in my videos, you can check out my Patreon up this way. If you'd like to see more ridiculous videos on a weekly basis, you can subscribe up here. Subscribe is the word I was trying to say. I don't know what actually came out of my mouth. And somewhere in this direction, I'll put a link to the video where I make these radish earrings and you can see Grant and Sam's versions of those too. P.S. I'll put links to their butterbeer cork videos in the description. That'd be more like a